Now, I want you to pay attention to these couple stars right here to the right of the screen. And remembering that the sun is supposed to be traveling in a straight line through the universe at 600,000 something miles per hour. Now watch to the right as these stars zoom past us, okay? Remembering that the sun is traveling in a straight line through the universe, supposedly. We just left those stars behind, right? We're traveling in a straight line, which means we shouldn't be turning around and coming back there if we're following the sun, okay? Now, pretending we're on a ball, I'm saying pretending we're on a ball, but yet, You'll see those same stars again tomorrow. But we travel in a straight path according to this sun that we're following. Clouds on a flat earth. Now remember, on a flat earth, we're following the sun west. So that means it should always be turning just a little bit to the right of you as you're flying behind it, chasing it. That is why you keep seeing this cameraman turn the camera to the right see he's flying according to the compass but the sun is making a circuit that's why you keep seeing it go to the right and he has to adjust the camera and the aircraft to the right now if you were flying east like we're going to do in the next chapter you would constantly be turning the camera uh, to the left and look at that beautiful hot spot right over the top of those clouds the horizon is the same all the way across. If the sun were 93 million miles out in space, all these clouds would be, have the same amount of light on them, but they don't. It only lights up the clouds that's right underneath it, and you can see it right there. Welcome to part two of Chasing the Sun Around the Flat Earth. Now, as you can remember, in part one, I showed you a 777 flying from Seoul to Paris going west, which would be chasing the sun on a flat earth. Now, in part two, I'm going to be showing you a flight going east from Paris to Tokyo. Now, if you're flying east on a flat earth, you will fly right into the sun. It will actually pass right over the top of you which is what you're gonna see here in part two of Chasing the Sun Around the Flat Earth. Enjoy. Now notice here, going east, we have the same thing going on with the sun coming at us. See the hot spot underneath it on the clouds? And then see the darkness over here and over here? Look familiar? That's because it works the same way, even with the sun coming at you from the east. Now, notice once again, the hot spot of the sun is right here in the middle, right underneath it. And once again, over here on the sides, it's still dark because the sun is right over these clouds, right underneath it. And the sun is going to pass right over your head right here. As you can see, it is right over the top of us at this point. You can see the hot spot right here on the clouds, right, right in front of us because it's right over the top of us. And see the darkness back that way? The sun is right above us right here. And that is impossible on a spinning ball.
wake up, people. You just seen it with your own eyes. Now notice I have a light bulb, which is round, which represents our sun source, and we have a flat mattress, which represents our flat layer of clouds. Now watch as I get the so-called sun down here at the edge by the horizon. Now you see that hot spot right underneath the light bulb? You can only get that hot spot when the light source is very close and local. Now notice the darkness on each side of the bed just as you did on the blanket of clouds. 